Hello viewers, Bo here with another Konosuba Fantastic Days video and I have my Day 5 Arena Runs against the crazy water alligator himself. And uh, if we look at the rankings here, uh, top 100, it's getting super duper close to like the 1.6 mil mark. And so basically what that is means uh, getting the top one, 100, you're going to have to post up a score of like 200k damage, which is uh, which is a lot, and it, which is honestly probably dependent on a little bit of luck, maybe a lot of bit of luck, some RNG, maybe the boss goes dumb, forgets how to use his jaws, and just magic downs your entire physical team <laughs> for the entire fight. I don't know. But uh, anyway, let's uh, talk about the team that I brought today. So yesterday I brought in, um, I brought in the chosen one. Mitsurugi himself, and uh, to be honest, I thought he was, I thought he was pretty good. I liked him. Um, yesterday I had, uh, I set a high score, and then I also had two runs that were um, pretty consistent with each other, as well. And so I think he's uh, pretty good, but because we're at the risk of um, dropping out of the top 1,000, I decided to swap it up and try something new. Uh, I was also on Discord, YouTube, uh, watching some videos of players like higher rank than me um, do some arena runs, and they they really like the Erika, uh, particularly well both the four star and the three star one. Um, I only have the three star one, so I decided to try her out, and I think the reason why she's good, or probably yeah, the main reason why she's good is that one, she's a damage dealer, right? And then two, she also has uh, a significantly raised attack buff for your team uh, attached to her ulti. So uh, the idea is that she's able to dish out damage while allowing your teammates to do more damage as well. Um, but unfortunately for me, I don't have the 4-star Erika. I'm not even sure if I'll use the 4-star Erika when I have the 3-star um, Erika like, with the high skills. Uh, but, and I also don't have really high affinity on her either. I think she's like affinity seven at the time I, uh, did this run. Uh, but anyway, I was, uh, this run, this first run was good enough for a high score. We're back in the top 500. Actually, probably the first time I've been in the top 500 this week. If I recall correctly, maybe earlier in the week. I'm not sure. But, but yeah, top 500, always a good place to be. I don't expect it to hold up. Like, if I don't improve my score at all, I'm probably going to be out of the top 1,000 even by the end of this week. Um, but yeah, so if you guys wanted to see, if you guys were here for the high score run, then uh, hey, uh, that was it. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Um, yeah, because runs two and three are a little bit more scuffed, and I don't get that juicy Melissa crit at the end, uh, so, yeah, not so good, but I decided to throw them in, uh, the video anyway. I was debating on, uh, just having this, just the one run, um, but I figured, like, if you guys were here to see just the one run, then, uh, you can get your one run and then you can dip, uh, or, and I posted like these extra, or like these last two kind of failed runs, uh, just because they might be helpful to somebody, or they want to see like, how Erica does in a run that sucks, <laughs> or when the boss doesn't do favorable attacks and stuff like that. So, yeah, I just threw these in anyway. Um, so this first run, I kind of... Or the second run, actually. I kind of uh, do semi-auto, I guess. I put in a little bit of auto. Yeah, I noticed something about this today's boss. He really likes to murder Melissa. He likes to send Melissa to the Shadow Realm. To the place of no return. Uh, which is unfortunate. Because I really want... In, a, in an ideal world, right? Melissa stays alive for the longest time. Okay, well, let's talk about... Uh, a dream situation, a dream arena fight, right? What is the like? What is my dream arena fight? So, uh, so mobs one and two. I don't take any damage, and Erica is able to charge up her ultimate, or all three of my guys are able to charge up their ultimates right away, right? So swimsuit Aqua, the Melissa is able to charge up ultimate, and then Erica is able to charge up an ultimate, and then we go into the boss fight, 
Uh, and Erica gets her ult off first, so she buffs uh, everybody. Then Melissa, with the buff, ults the boss. And now he has lower defense as well. And then Aqua comes in and then ults the boss. And, uh, you know, with the buff and the debuff, we're going to be dealing, like, a pretty nice chunk right off the bat. Um, getting a crit here and there, you know, much appreciated. You know, in an ideal world, every attack crits, right? But that's, like, I'd win the lottery before I get that. <laughs> before I get that kind of luck, right? Um, so we're not going to ask for too much. Then, um, the, uh, the boss... Uh, casts <laughs> the boss like forgets how to use his jaws, forgets how to splash and make puddles. He just waves his head around and casts the uh, magic down on us three times until his ulti is charged. Until his ulti is charged, right? And then he bites Erica's head off. He just tears her into two, right? So that way Mitsurugi can come in, and then he can support the team. With his uh, with his defensive buffs, right, and then after that, I don't really care what the boss does. He can like, well, I'd rather him not bite uh, Melissa three times in a row, but um, but other than that, like that would be like a dream start for me. And I think at that point, we're able to get, we're gonna be able to set up a decent score because our front, our well, the Aqua and the Melissa's able to live long enough, and then you know have the Mitsurugi come in and deal damage. And at that point, like, all of my guys have done their job. So whoever dies next for the Iris to come in, it doesn't really matter. There's not much time left anyway. As long as they got their skills off. As long as they're not close to an ult. Like, that would be, like, the dream run. Um, and then here, if you were paying attention to the video, this third run, I thought was going to be the dream run. Because, like, everything, like, happened uh, up until, like, uh, like, the second half of that scenario that I just painted out. Everything, like, lined up. You know, the Erica ulted, then the Melissa ult. Then the Aqua ult, uh, the guy, the freaking alligator cast the magic down, um, uh, he casts it twice, and then it, he gets blinded by Melissa, and he bites the Erica. so I'm just like, yes, 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 all you have to do is ulti Erica. please just ulti Erica. but no, he likes to murder Melissa, today is Melissa day, and Melissa is the first to enter the Shadow Realm, she has to be the first to enter the Shadow Realm today. Uh, so, you no, know, he sticks to his rules, and uh, Melissa dies, and so at that point, it's going to be really hard to get a high score. I didn't give up hope, I still continued on manual, because, you know, you never know when you might get a lucky crit here and there. But, uh, you know, with 10 seconds left, just throw on the auto, it's not going to happen. And, uh, there it is, there is run number 3. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you stuck to the end, you're a real one. Um, I hope you guys have a better day in arena than I did. <laughs> Bye.